Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today what we're going to be doing is removing the stock uh, Kawasaki headers that came on the Z900RS and installing Delkovic DCAT headers uh, which lay about, weigh about 11 pounds. Um, actually looks pretty straightforward to do thankfully because this bike is new all of the header uh, nuts which look like uh, this but you can't see them but they're just domed nuts um, so enclosed domed nuts. Uh, and there's you know two per two per header four headers in total so eight nuts to remove um, and I'll walk you through the rest as, as we do it I think these are gonna look a lot better because I hate the bread box I've always hated bread boxes I know they're functional but I just think they look terrible um, and I wish there was a, a better solution uh, you know other than the solution of the gigantic cannon that comes on the stock uh, Gen 3 Hayabusa for instance um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, the Delkovic kit, header kit, cost I think 300 and something dollars delivered. So I mean, really, really, really good value. Uh, why I opted for that over a Akrapovic um, is, or Akrapovic, or however it's pronounced, I don't know. <laughs> I know there's videos, you don't need to link me the videos. I know there's a video where a, a, a rep says, tells you how to pronounce it. It, it doesn't matter to me, <laughs> I'm not that concerned. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much, I think, the main reason why I didn't go for the, the Akrapovic is because of cost. For the price of the, the Akrapovic headers, I could do Delkovic headers and the uh, ECU tune from Ivern's Performance. So really, it was just, it came down to a matter of I wanted to get everything done, I wanted to get this bike the way I really want it. Um, so cost, cost played into it. Plus I've had Delkovic products before and in my opinion they're very high quality. People complain they discolor but they're single wall steel so it's going to discolor. Um, that's just how it is. Personally I don't really like chrome anyway so when they discolor it doesn't bother me in the slightest at all. It's, I use my bikes so that's just what it is. Um, so to run you through real quick what we're going to have to do here. Uh, we're gonna to have to first remove this kind of um, beauty cover. So first what we're gonna to have to do is remove these beauty covers down here. I'm pointing with my toes because my back is still not great. Um, obviously all of the header nuts. Um, there is also a clamp uh, right here which connects on obviously to this. We'll have to pop this off real quick, uh, which is just this bolt here. Um, in order to, to make room, there's also the O2 sensor down here which feeds back up in here. We'll figure out where that goes in a second. And obviously the main mounting bolt, which is in there. The There's three bolts on the beauty covers, which are five mil Allens. They're already out and on the floor there. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how we go. All right, so once you have the three beauty cover bolts out, I should just be able to pull this off now. Let's find out. Is there another bolt out? Oh. Oops. Be careful, these uh, beauty covers are pinchy. So we'll just lay that down to one side there. And then the other one, it looks, I don't know, is it like a, it looks like they have a little rubber grommet on them. Yeah, it's a rubber grommet, okay, cool. So I don't know, can you see that, these guys here. They were quite difficult, it looks like it actually pulled the rubber grommet out with it, which is probably just age and temperature and whatnot. To get that rear bolt out, to drop the whole thing, it does look like we're gonna have to, uh, move this rear set but to remove the other bolts it's really easy I mean just look what you're doing and they should come away without too much fuss especially if the bike is new obviously the older these bikes get the worse it is to take these off but there you go I don't know what the camera focus on that and this rear holder here for the actual silencer muffler whatever you want to call it is a 10, does have a nut behind it. What I'm gonna do for now is just loosen that in the hope that I can just kinda shunt everything out of the way. Oh, it's a freaking star head, of course. If while you're down here, you wanna try not uh, actually unplug the O2 sensor, if you release this, which is just a lifty clip, I'll literally lift that out off its tabs. You gotta pull this one out and this one out. And then you should have enough kind of wiggle on that to, to remove this uh, while just kind of letting this twist up and then let it spring back. It should be enough if you want to risk it. 
I'm probably going to risk it and uh, see how it goes. A Torx, I should say, not a star one. It's seeming like it's a T40, so hopefully that does work. Looks like the O2 sensor is a 22. I'm just gonna try to take that out now. Before we do that, let's see, does this undo on the T40? T40, open it up nice and wide. Uh, I might actually just take off the silencer altogether for safety purposes. There we go. Silencer off. Left to one side for safekeeping. There we go. So you can definitely take this out with just some uh, gentle encouragement for the hammer. So far it's letting me twist it up. You obviously don't want to twist these up too much um, because you could damage the cable. So you want to just kind of feel for the resistance. But honestly, that looks fine. And so when you're putting that back in, all you do is the opposite. You want to twist it basically back the way you had it um, to add the slack. So, you know, X amount of twists and then you can twist them off again, essentially. So now we're pretty much there. We just need to somehow get in at this mounting bolt, which I think, I think the only way to do that is to take off this rear set, which is really annoying. Um, but I do think it's the only way to actually do it. These are a size six Allen, by the way. Size six Allens that do not seem to actually have Loctite on them, which I'm surprised by. I will be putting Loctite onto them because they're a, a rear set bolt. So it's a size six and you're probably gonna want like a long Allen like this one in order to get into it. Okay, so I got my super extendo. There we go. Now the whole exhaust is wanting to drop, of course, because this was the last piece holding it on. This is the bread box section, the heaviest section. Not exactly what I meant to do, but it worked. <laughs> So that is the incredibly heavy um, bread box section off of the bike. So to just show you an example, this is the collector piece for the Delkovic, which comes numbered. Uh, I am wearing gloves so I don't get my grease all over this. But as you can see, we do have all the numbers here. Um, and you can see into the collector. It's a deep decat, which is beautiful. Um, obviously, there's spring clamps on this guy for uh, you. We're going to slot three and four in here, for instance, and then spring from uh, from the actual pipes to this. That's how that works. So, yeah, excited to get this installed. That's the actual collector part of it. Um, this is our link pipe, which is made to work with the stock piece. So let's see, does it actually, and it does, yay, so that does fit on. I know you can't see that, but just see it in oil. So from here, as you look at it, uh, I don't think there's any actual copper pieces left in here. It, there's copper color, but that might've just been grease. Um, you're essentially gonna wanna get you one of these rings that comes with the kit, okay? That's gonna fit up in there. And then we're gonna fit the header. It's gonna be, I'm gonna just have to show you off that camera. Uh, because there's not really much else I can do, to be honest. Rather difficult to kind of try do all this. So, I mean, so far so good. This would be a lot easier if I wasn't injured. I'll show you everything we've done uh, as soon as I get this last Whoops, pipe on. But yeah, not bad, not bad actually. So if you look up here, what we did was put in the copper washer. Toaster's helping me by the way, that's why this is possible. Um, we put the copper washer in first, then you sit in your pipe and then you put your, your old dome nuts on. Uh, these are not tight yet, don't tighten them up. You need to leave it loose so you can get a little bit of wiggle to kind of fit everything up. And the way it goes from the front is pipe one, over here, 
then two, then three, then four. Same as the, the actual Kawasaki numbering system for their cylinders. So one, two, three, four. So then when you get your collector, you can see that it's numbered one, four and two, three. So it's gonna be facing like this. Now, so far, I have not been able to get these all to kind of line up nicely. Um, so let's try do that. It seems like three just isn't really right. It just does not look like number four is gonna actually fit in. So if you look here, right here is where four doesn't want to go in. You can see it's slightly off round. So this is going to be really not fun, I think. If I could just get them all lined up, I could hammer it in from the back, but that is proving extremely difficult. No instructions come with this kit, by the way, so. Okay, apologies if you notice any time dilation going on here. I did have to pause the other night, because um, essentially my back got too sore from, from lying on the ground. However, this is a very different day and I'm feeling a lot better. So what we have done is torqued all of the header bolts here, uh, or nuts I should say, to 20 newton meters. Uh, for the people who do not believe me, there's my little torque wrench. <coughs> and we have also mounted up the mid pipe, link pipe, um, with that bolt back there. So the bolt that comes with the Delkovic is quite short. The original is here. Look at me, I can bend down again. The original is here, which I probably would have reused. Focus camera. Uh, but as you can see, it actually stripped off the top threads uh, coming out of the original exhaust. So uh, I guess I can't reuse that. Even though it would have been nice to reuse it. Such is life. Because it is a little bit longer, um, but at least I can go get another bolt if I want to that's slightly longer and pop this off again in future. Um, and also we did tighten up this exhaust clamp down here uh, that comes with the Delkovic and that is five millimeter Allens. I don't know, did you get the uh, the springs? Cause that's when I actually hurt my back lying on the ground and leveraging. Um, <laughs> evidently is not the best idea, but this is the spring puller that comes with the Delkovic kit. Um, really impressive that they do send you this actually because a lot of people wouldn't and it did work really well. Not the easiest to get on, um, but there they are there. Uh, so you do need to put uh, them on also, which is just to show you from these two tabs here uh, to this one, and just make sure you don't mix up the top and bottom. And then the same on this side here, which you won't be able to see as well because it's darker, uh, there. Not as easy on this side, but still, not too bad. So now we're gonna try do, and this is something that has been, uh, you know, it's something I actually messaged Delkovic about, and they weren't actually sure would it fit, so I'm really interested, is the stock Akropovic exhaust, uh, will it fit back on nicely? So that's something we're about to test right now. And then I'll probably pop it off and fit the, some silicon sealant or something. It's looking good. Okay, so I mean, it's not perfect. We are actually touching the swing arm there, but I think when I bolt it up, it should pull it away from the swing arm. Um, I wonder, is there like a little bit of twisting that I could do, but I don't think so. So I don't really have much down here. Now, the other thing to note is this isn't Delkovic's fault that it's touching slightly. Um, this kit was made to work with the stock silencer, which obviously is a very so slightly uh, different size. So the front uh, securing bolt for the exhaust mount is a 10 and the back is a 12, if I hadn't already stated that earlier in the video. Eh, it's not too bad. I don't think it's gonna move. So, I mean, I'm actually pretty happy with that fitment. Look at that. Does not look nice and lighter. I will go measure the weight of the other thing there in a second as well, but to just show you, look at that, we do have space. It's not a huge amount of space, but uh, 
I don't think it's gonna hit. I mean, if it's gonna hit, it's because my wheel bearings are very, very, very bad, or my swing arm bearings, at which point I have different issues. Now, this should be able to mount back up um, the actual stock covers as well, I do believe. So we'll try that. So these guys here uh, should be able to slip in and bolt back up the stock cover. And where those guys should go is, there's a tab right there. I don't know. Oh, and there's a tab right there. So they should both slide in there and we should be able to remount them. So this one here uh, mounts up first, the kind of longer section. As you can see, there's a little rubber guy that we need to fit back into that lower mount. So this guy here, you want the thinner side facing back towards the back of the bike, from what I can gather, because then the actual cover itself just slides into it. I'll get a close up of it in a second. And just to show you, uh, these little guys here, what you want is the, the part closest to the mounting plate, you want to have this because the bolt needs to go through this and then bolt through here. So again, I'll try to show you this later. It's impossible to kind of show you get down this low, um, but essentially it needs to, to be able to actually retain the bolt uh, from the cover, say, if that makes any form of sense. So essentially what you're looking for is to have uh, those guys on there like that. So the bolt side and the back side, as you can see, and then that rubber guy like that. Cause, oh, that's thunder, cool. Cause that, that'll slide back through, well, it'll actually be this way, but that will slide back through that rubber and uh, pinch on like that. So to rejig all this stuff, you may need to call a second pair of hands. Um, well, I, I don't know, maybe if you're like physically not partially crippled right now, uh, you might be fine. I did have to call in the help of the illustrious Toaster. Uh, so thank you Toaster, helping me get all this stuff relocated. Um, it actually matches up okay. The one thing I don't really like is the stock lower cover kind of sits out a little bit further from the pipe. But honestly, I think it looks better with the cover than without. So definitely going to uh, leave it in place. You know, that's something you can, you can decide for yourself. You don't have to put that cover on. And honestly, I think it's very impressive that uh, Delkovic went to the trouble of having the fit and finish um, of this so that you could put back on that original um, pipe cover. Small things like that do make a difference, uh, in my opinion. And I am impressed. Don't forget to tighten back up your other pipe clamp also. And once you have all of that back together, uh, do not forget to put back in your rear set bolts. I can't remember did I say I already ordered the Satos, or was I planning on ordering them? Um, if I did say I already ordered them, that was a mistake. I meant I was planning on ordering them. I have not yet ordered the Sato rear sets. Um, they, they are $580 and um, everything I've already spent on this to get this bike to where, where it is now was uh, considerable. And I did kind of try to prioritize the stuff that would, would do more for less, if that makes sense. Um, for instance, like the suspension was number one. The suspension was ordered first. And then I did order the uh, headers and obviously the tune while the headers were kind of on their way. And then obviously don't forget to wind back in your O2 sensor. How are we on time? We're doing okay. So like I said with the O2 sensor, what you want to do is take out the bung that uh, comes with it from Delkovic. Obviously you can theoretically just leave the bung in if you're getting a tune that deletes your O2 sensor. Uh, personally, I'm sticking the O2 sensor back in. So because you're gonna be winding it clockwise, you wanna put in a certain amount of anti-clockwises just until it feels kinda stressed, we'll say. 
You don't want to make it too unhappy. And there we go. So that rolled back in there nicely. I know you can't see it, um, but it did kind of go back in real nice. And I believe it was the 22. Yeah, 22 mil spanner uh, to put that one home. That's it. Now, um, it will be tomorrow before I can do a test start on this because I have to make another video putting the ECU back in. Um, but after that, we can actually do a test start on this bike. So looking forward to that. And I'll finish the video, obviously, after we do an actual test start to see where we are. So thank you for watching this far. And we'll be back for the test start very soon. So hilariously, I'm currently actually editing this video and I realized I never shot the, uh, the summary outro, whatever you want to call it. Um, so here we are, we're doing it right now. Uh, it worked out better because I actually have had have been on a few rides on this. Uh, now I've done the shakedown test on it since finishing off the front suspension. Uh, and I've been on a couple of rides of toaster since um, obviously she was on her, her CB750 over there. Um, so I can actually tell you a little bit more about the, the exhaust, I suppose. I'm very happy with it. Um, other than that one minor hiccup with the slightly off round collector um, that the number four pipe didn't want to really go into for a while, everything else went very smoothly. Uh, really impressed with the actual fit and finish. Uh, you know, the fact that it mounts up to that stock uh, Akropovic uh, muffler and whatnot is really nice. Definitely a bonus, didn't have to pay for a full system, literally just got myself the headers. Everything you need does come with it, apart from the nuts. You do have to reuse those nuts uh, on, on the actual header uh, attachment to the engine, which is not a big deal. Um, but other than that, even spring pullers, everything comes with it. Um, sounds great and value is really good. So I know some people get upset that these can discolor, but they are a single wall exhaust, so they're going to. Um, the benefit of that is uh, these are I think they were about, what, five kg roughly, or 11 pounds. Uh, my scales is in pounds right now, so, because uh, it makes me feel better as I lose weight. That's that's the genuine reason. So the, those are 11 pounds roughly, and the stock header uh, bread box assembly is 22 pounds. So you also do shed 11 full pounds um, from uh, the bike with, with this system, which is really nice. Um, I did combine this system, like I said, with the K&N air filter uh, and also an Ivan's performance tune, um, which has also been really good, but that'll be for a separate video. So if you're wondering, if you're thinking, uh, if you're mm, hoping that you might want to get a Delkovic over, say, an Akropovic header setup, um, I think the half priceness of the Delkovic in comparison to the Akropovic is well, 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 well worth it. Um, I think for the price, really, really cannot be beaten. Like engineering went into this. Someone spent time designing this. And then, I mean, in my opinion, it's very good quality. Um, I've never heard of anyone actually being disappointed with Delkovics who buy them um, and are okay with the fact that it's not an uber premium uh, price point. I love that. Uh, I love the fact that I could actually afford this while still also paying for the uh, Ivan's performance uh, tune. So, I mean, I think it was 300 and something dollars for the Delkovic with free delivery. You really cannot complain about that. It came with the washers, it came with the springs, came with the spring puller, came with everything you need. New bolt, even though the bolt was slightly short, it's still hanging on in there. I haven't actually changed it yet. So maybe that one, I would just put it like a little bit longer, uh, Delkovic, if, if, you know, that'd be, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, otherwise, very, very impressed. Um, fit and finish, I would give like an eight out of 10, like literally that off round as the only thing that would have been that's a quality control piece, you know, that could have been slightly better, but I mean, it still fit in there and it doesn't leak. Um, so yeah, fit and finish, like I said, eight out of 10, price 10 out of 10, really happy with the cost of these and the fact they fit up. Um, and ease, you know, ease of fitting, 
if I hadn't been crippled when I fitted, this is weeks later now, uh, I'm so much better than I was then. Even editing this video is hard because like, a lot of that was just me lying on the ground, uh, telling myself to count to 10 so I could move again. Like, it, I was not good that day, at the first day. Uh, I don't know, could you hear it in my voice? But, um, the actual ease of install, I think pretty much anyone can do this. Um, I think with, with pretty basic tools, uh, you could do this. You don't need a rear stand, you don't need a front stand, you don't need any of that stuff that I had on there. Um, you could sit it like it is right now on the ground on the side stand and you could do that job, which is, is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. If you've watched, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please do leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to you. Um, as always, a very special thank you to all of my patrons. I do appreciate your support and I do appreciate the fact that lots of you have been really interested in this build because I think uh, if you are a patron, you know how much I love this bike and, and how much I've been looking forward to doing all these bits and bits and pieces to kind of, you know, make it even more better than it already was from stock. So yeah, I, I appreciate I appreciate you all. And yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you did watch this far, like I said, any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comments. Um, and a big thank you to Delkovic for making this. Um, the fact that companies exist who do this, I love it. Uh, you know, they're a smaller, smaller company, obviously lower price point, and that is serving a part of the community like myself, who don't have the money uh, for the, 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 the brand new bikes and the top end systems and everything else. So um, really cool that they make something, really cool that Ivan, Ivan's performance supports that header package uh, on the bike and just, Overall, kind of really happy with, with how the whole thing came together. So, uh, big thumbs up to Delkovic. And as an aside, I obviously did buy this myself. They did not give me any discount on this. I paid 100% full price, the same as you would if you were to order it online. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. Uh, yeah, adios. Outro crew, um, would you do headers on your motorcycle? Uh, would, you, would you do like decat headers? Um, do you personally like having a catalytic converter? Um, I, I don't think it makes much of a difference as long as cruise, ship ex cruise ships exist, uh, especially since my bikes are far more fuel efficient than um, my, the cars we own because they're really old. Uh, so, you know, I think uh, the fact this thing does like 40 MPG US, uh, you know, it, you do less emissions than you when you're doing doing less burning and stuff. Um, yeah, would would you do would you do headers with a with a decat or or would you want to add an extra cat or would you just like a cat? I miss my cat. I miss Splat. Splat's great. He's he's fine by the way. He lives at home with my parents currently. Um, thank you for looking after him. Yeah, bye, Otro Crew.